Yo, what's up, Trevors? Greetings, blessings, and salutations to you. Yours truly, Mr. Lee, live and alive on the inside, bringing another fun filled, mind stimulating episode of Loving TNT right here on Rev Talk TV. This show, we're going to be passing through Arima, checking out the town, uh, hanging out with the guys at Cleaver Woods, and we're going to be learning a lot about the Amerindian Carib tribe and how they live back in the day. Also, we have a special treat because we're heading down to May Arrow and we actually caught in the MK Promotion Car Show and Sound Off down at the BP Resource Center. And let me tell you, it was epic. Awesome cars, gorgeous girls, real vibes. So don't today to touch that mouse, sit back, relax, and let's love TNT together right here on Rev Talk TV. Keep it locked. This segment is sponsored by Temp Exchange AC Services. For all your residential and commercial cooling needs, call Temp Exchange, located at Sori Village, Aruka. Call us at 482-3384. Temp Exchange, where everything is a cool sea. Arima, a bustling borough held and endeared to the indigenous Carib Amerindian tribe. It's a modern day metropolis located smack dab in the middle of the island, on the foothills of the Northern Range. Known for its landmark clock and the Santa Rosa Carib Tribe Center, the clock, known as the dial, may be modest in size, but it is no less a beacon for the residents. Found in the Broadway area of town, the Arima Dial was dedicated to the city in 1898 by former mayor John Wallen. A must do in Arima is a visit to the Cleaverwood Recreation Park. Found off of Cleaver Road and the Eastern Main Road, this recreation area boasts a thatch hut that is intended to give insight into how past Amerindians live. In addition to checking out the native items on display, at Cleaver Woods you can also enjoy the park's walking trails and benches. Those traveling with kids will find that the Cleaver Woods Recreation Park is one of the best attractions in Arima. As it's maintained untouched for that authentic, natural feel of how they lived back then. What really amazed me was the engineering of the artifacts and the buildings. Nothing short of amazing. Okay, this is the Amerindian house. They call it the Ajupa, where the Amerindians used to live in a long time. They take a step inside, you will see some of the artifacts they used to use back in the day. Okay, these are some of the artifacts. The dirt oven, make the, flour, the bread and stuff, heat it from underneath, close back the door and make your bread. Baskets where they put the fish and stuff, fruits. This is the same thing like the Ajupa, but there's a mini how the settlement used to be. The, house, the, the main house everybody used to live, then they had sheds to lime in. Like how we have it in the park here now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Primitive hunting tools, bow, arrows. Spear. Yeah. Made out of wood? It's wood, not steel. Wow. And the canoe, and well, you can see that was very slim, eh? because the canoe ain't that big. <laughs> and this is one of the, where they used to, used to chop, like little animals, squirrel, rabbits. This here is, is um, actual artifacts from that period. Like the clay pots and stuff. We have we have uh, actual artifact that survived. Coal. Oh. 
That's genuine. Yeah. Wow. Well, now, let's see. This is not a very long time swizzle so sticker. Eh? Oh. <laughs> you see where swizzle so stick come from? Mm -hmm. And they put the teacup. Very short glass and all. You know what I'm drinking, but. <laughs> Heading down to Miharo, idyllic and historic for its amazing scenic route of coconut palm trees. Lining both sides of the roadway as you journey down, the largest bay beach in the Atlantic. A route that was totally decimated by harsh inclement weather late last year has been restored and once again can be enjoyed by nature-loving, fun-seeking, sea-bathing enthusiasts alike. As we got to Meiaro, it became crystal clear that the Atlantic was not taking visitors, as the entire coastline was bedded by literally tons of seaweed. I guess all will have to hold strain and wait until nature decides when she's good and ready. So we hopped over to BP Resource Center for the MK promotion May in Meiaro Car Show and sound off. The experience was nothing short of epic. MK Promotions is probably the biggest name in the car show gig validly earned as these guys really know how to put on a show. Check out our short montage of the bashment. You're watching Rev Talk TV. That's a wrap, Revers. As usual, we'd like to thank a few people. First of all, we'd like to thank Mr. Brent King from the Cleaver Woods Recreation Park. Pick up yourself, bro. Keep revving. And as always, you, dear viewers, the 51 newbies that liked our page this week, thank you very much. Hit applause one time. And if you're seeing us for the first time, I know you're gonna be feeling the vibe because we're gonna be working real hard to bring the best that we could offer. So, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and hit that subscribe button. Please comment, I really like to hear from you guys. Well, that's it for now, so in the meantime, in between time, this is Mr. Lee saying love your God, love yourself, and each other. And keep revving, and bless. TV.